Today is a big day for me, honey. I will finally meet my sister after 20 years of separation. I can't wait another minute. I have already sent her the address of the house. She will take a rental and she will come directly to the house. I'm happy for you, my love. I know how much you are looking forward to this moment. I'll be there for you because I know how emotional you are. I thank you from the bottom of my heart, my love, for supporting me. What will I be without you, my angel? My sister is the only family I have left. We do not have the same father, but we have the greatest bond that unites us, the maternal bond. After the death of mom, I cannot believe that it has already been 20 years. <laughs> Sorry, honey, I, I was saying, after mom died, I was just seven. My sister was five, and her dad chose to go with her and leave me for adoption. It was the saddest day of my life. I remember it all like it was yesterday. Her husband approaches her and takes her in his arms. I know how much you suffered, my love. I promise you that I will not let anyone hurt you, Master Sun whispered tenderly to his wife. Did I ever tell you that Cheyenne's dad took all of mommy's pictures? I never had the chance to have a single picture of mom. The only memories I have are when she sang and hugged me. This man never liked me. That bastard. He was rich and he chose to leave me on the streets. This wound will never be erased. Joanna, you're hurting yourself too much. It's torture to hear you talk about this all the time. You have your children and your husband. We are your family now, and your sister was just a child. She is responsible for nothing. My love, someone rings the doorbell. It might be my sister. Master Sun opens the door and calls Joanna. Baby, I think your sister has already arrived. Joanna runs to the car and hugs her sister. They stayed in each other's arms, crying with joy. I dreamed of this moment for so long, but I didn't know where to find you. My father realized how unfair he was to you and decided to find you, but unfortunately, the person who adopted you moved and changed your name. I was dreaming of you every day, every night, and they break down in tears. Please, my sister, stay at home. I know it's not fancy, but I have already prepared a room for you. I don't want to spend a minute away from you, my little sister. You are so pretty. Your face reminds me of mom. I never had a single photo of her, but seeing you, it's as if her face was still alive. They were all sitting down as a family to have dinner, discussing all the things they could have done together and memories of when they were kids. It was a very moving night. Joanna's husband slowly slipped away to leave the table so that the sisters could spend a little time alone. Cheyenne's eyes remained fixed on Master Sun as if he were the only person in the room. My darling, I'll leave you. I'll put the children to sleep. And he kisses his wife. When the husband leaves, Cheyenne tells her sister, Aw, Joanna, what a handsome man. You look like you hit the jackpot and your kids are super pretty. Thank you, sister. I love this man from the bottom of my being. He is my life. He saved my life from depression and loneliness. I say thank you to God every day. Cheyenne becomes jealous and begins to belittle her sister's husband. You know, life is not only love. The man must be rich and offer me everything I need. Look at where you live, it looks like a slum. I don't tell you that so that you get angry, but life has more important things than love. We may not be on the same path on this point, but everyone has their own taste, and this man is all I want. Ugh, I have to go. I have a room at a five-star hotel. Sorry, big sister, I have never slept in this condition. Joanna didn't like her sister's reaction, but she didn't say anything just so as not to spoil the moment she had dreamed of so much. Joanna accompanies Cheyenne to the door where her driver was waiting for her. Cheyenne gets in the car, but her head was elsewhere. She thinks of her sister's happiness. My sister is happy and I am not. Her husband is so handsome. He is not rich, but 
he is worried. He loves Joanna and the children. I am rich, but poor in love. I know what I'm going to do. I am going to seduce Master Sun. Who will resist an elegant woman like me? Joanna could not sleep. She felt humiliated by her sister, but hides her emotions from her husband. Dear, is everything fine? I see that you are thinking. Why didn't your sister stay at home as planned? Uh, um, uh, she said she doesn't want to burden us. I can understand the house is not too big. He kisses his wife tenderly on the mouth, wishing her good night. The next day, Cheyenne makes herself very beautiful, and her driver drops her off at her sister's house. Master Sun welcomes her warmly. Hello, brother-in-law. Are you okay? Where is my sister? She's out shopping and dropping off the kids at school. So we're alone. I have something to tell you. Really? You know, I spent the night thinking about you. Your eyes disturbed me so much. I could not even sleep. My sister is lucky to have you. I can offer everything you want. You won't have to work so hard. Your wife tells me about all your effort to support the needs of the family. Are you crazy or what? I adore my wife. She is my life. Do not tell a stupid childish story. I will pretend nothing has been said. Cheyenne wraps her body around Master Sun, but Master Sun gently pushes her. He stared her straight in the eyes. Things are crystal between us. You can no longer approach me. And he withdraws from the room, 